Bonaneke. Move for P2 then in towards the bus stop battling. And Bonaneke, it is Bonaneke who's involved with that one. And Bonaneke has had himself another moment this season. Hi everyone. Welcome to Overtake Tutorials. My name is Max Beneke and I'm currently the highest ranked iRacing driver in the world. And I'm here to teach you the basics of how to nail every single racetrack on iRacing. Nailing the track actually starts way before the actual race with preparation. I'm not just racing at the top level because of my talent, but actually my preparation is way more important than that. In order to become a good racer, first of all you need to have the right car that fits your driving style. If the car is not predetermined by the series you're racing in, you should try to find one that fits your driving style. Start experimenting and just pick the one that feels right for you. After you've found the perfect car, you should try to stick to it in order to get as comfortable as possible. Once you have figured out the car, you can start customizing and optimizing it. You finally found your car. Time to hit the track and start racing, right? Well, not yet. First, it's important to learn the racetrack. To be the best, you should actually be able to drive on the track with your eyes completely closed. And to accomplish that, you need to make sure that you know every single part of the tarmac. Start by driving down the racetrack slowly and pay close attention to the different parts of the track. No corner is like the other. There are spirals, hairpins, chicanes, parabolicas like the one in Monza and many many more. Each type also needs a different approach. The good news is, if it's not a special kind of corner, there's a very basic rule you can stick to. The best practice for basic corners is to take the inner curb while driving into the corner and then continue with a wide exit to the outer curb. Normally, you want to start braking before you're actually in the corner itself. Hitting the brake at the right time is essential. If you brake too late, you will be too fast to go around the curve the right way and braking too soon will lose your time. Actually, most people lose most of their time under braking. After you have driven past the apex of the corner, you want to start accelerating again. So hit the gas pedal in a smooth way and quickly go up to 100% throttle. Here again, don't hit the gas pedal too early, but once you do, you ideally don't have to let go again. Aside from oval tracks, a typical road race track consists of more than two or three corners. So it's important to learn and remember the entire track. Memorize the sequence of corners and straights and how to transition between them so that you can best use the cornering approach you just learned. Use noticeable spots and places on the track as reminders as to what comes next. Since we now know everything about the track, we can start experimenting with different speeds and timings. Having learned the track, you should look for other noticeable spots that help you as markers to get a feeling for the right timing of when to brake and when to accelerate. Obviously, driving faster around the track will result in a better lap time, but it also increases the risk of crashing. If you really want to make progress, Try to take it slow and instead focus on the right way of doing it. After you've found your groove, you can start to speed things up. Everyone learns at a different speed, so challenge yourself at the right pace and increase it gradually. Following these guidelines will make you drive on the so-called racing line, which is always the perfect way to drive around the racetrack. Some games even allow you to enable the racing line and show you when to brake and when to accelerate. This can be perfect in order to understand the right timings for all the different types of corners. As soon as you feel comfortable that you know the racing line, you should disable it in your game settings again. After all, you want to learn how to drive without help, right? And now it's finally time to race. In fact, 
race as much as possible. Keep on learning new things about your car and the racetrack and never stop discovering new opportunities and new possibilities to improve your lap times. And with a bit of luck and dedication, who knows, we might meet in a race someday. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line.